Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to show you how I actually fix my Seiko NH34 GMT movements quick dead change um, problem. So let's see what we got here. Let's pull the crown out and I'm able to change the time putting the crown back in and but to wind the movement the movement is moving perfectly without problem but the problem is when I put into the second position there's literally no tension so I'm not able to change the dead and the GMT hands so this is where the problem lies okay let's just remove the bracelet put it somewhere safe open the case remove the stem and pop the movement out just like this What's next is to actually remove the hand carefully, not to scratch anything. And there we go. Here's what you got to pick them up and store them somewhere safe. And lastly, remove the dowel. So obviously with the problem that I cannot quick set the time and the GMT hand, um, something to take note is on the that wheel transmission over here it lies vertically so i'm on my quick that chain setting so when i turn it notice the gear is not moving that wheel change transmission wheel so this is what i suspect is the problem and i'm going to disassemble it and have a look so now let's start with disassembling the movement so there's four screws to be unscrewed which I'm doing it right now. The first screw. Release on myself. The second one. And there's a third one and the fourth one just by the side of it. I'll link to a better video of um, someone in YouTube that disassemble this movement in a much more clear and concise way. And I hope that would help you all. So I'll remove this part of the movement and then use the radical to stick this part out and then there's a small gear here remove it again feel free to refer to a much detailed video link down in the description below remove the dead wheel and you can remove this metal plate there's two screws holding it just unscrew it slowly take your time remember to place the screw in somewhere safe now do it again on the second screw down below and you can use a rotigo to stick the metal part out and now the gear are fully exposed so use a rotigo to stick um, the gears out these are all working properly there's no issue with these gears and last but not least, the dead wheel change gear. This is the gear that has problem and we will be replacing this. To give a reference, this is a microscopic photo of a NH movement and look at the gear tag with number one. It's the only gear that is um, placed vertically and that is the gear that we are changing. Okay, so I've bought the gear and we'll be replacing um, the gear, the old gear with a new gear. So this is what we are looking for. And let's open it and pick up using the plier. The affiliate link to buy this exact part is linked in the video description down below. It's really small so make sure to really be careful not to lose it. So use a roti call to actually pick it up and then um, slowly slot it in the spot that we remove it from so remember it actually sits vertically against the entire movement so once the gear is in you can now put in your stem to keep the wheel in place and we can now start assembling back the movement so again feel free to refer to a much detailed video down in the description below 
where they explain the exact step to actually um, disassemble and assemble back the NH movement. So over here, I'm just putting back the metal plate, screw it back on with the screws that I took out from. So over here, there's two screws. So take your time, slowly screw it back in. And this, and there goes the second screw. Slowly screw it back in, be gentle. Make sure everything is tight, but not too tight. You don't want to break anything in the movement. Okay, now putting back this plastic white gear. This is the gear that will be responsible in switching between the quick depth change and the um, true GMT hand. Putting back the depth wheel in and make sure the depth wheel actually engages with the white gear you just press earlier. And putting in this metal plate, again making sure it also engages with the depth wheel. Take your time here. Um, it's very small and requires some finesse, but not to worry, it's not something that's impossible. Now putting back the pinion. And putting back this last metal plate. Again, feel free to refer to the video in the description below. Um, to have a much more detailed and better look into the steps in a microscopic view. So there's four screws to be screwed here. So this is the first one. Take your time because it's really small. Make sure you have the correct tool as well. Here goes the second screw. Here comes the third screw. And I actually lost my fourth screw. So I'll be just screwing down the three screws, but it's sufficient enough to keep everything in place. So nothing to worry that if you accidentally lose one of the four screws, which is what I did, but um, no big deal. Now just making sure all the screws are tightly screwed down so things are not moving here and there. Okay now I'm just pulling out the stem and re-putting it in make sure make sure the stem engages with everything inside the movement. And now I'm confirmed it's engaged properly. So I'm putting it into a GMT change mode and I can see the gear moving is engaging with the GMT wheel and now turning it another side and it's engaging with the quick dead change wheel and the dead are changing this proof that our fix work so I have a try a couple more times to make sure everything is um, moving as expected, which I think it is now. So I'm really, really happy. Now it's time to put back the parts. Remember to put back this dowel washer, pull it in a U shape. Once the dowel washers are in and um, you can put your dowel back on top of the movement. Apply some pressure and it's in now so what's next is to actually change the time to 12 o'clock in the morning before we install the hands okay now it's actually 12 in the midnight and we are installing our gmt hand first so i don't have a proper tool to install a gmt hand because um, the hole is actually bigger so i'm using this to um, hand remover tool to actually press the hand down evenly to install the gmt hand 
it's not the best way but that's the best i can think of so now just to test the gmt hand it's moving perfectly what's next we'll be installing the hour hand now just placing the hour hand on top of the gmt hand pointing at 12 o'clock and make sure everything aligns perfectly before we commit to the push and I'll be using uh, this hand pusher tool to make sure the pressure are being applied evenly so I found this tool very useful and I actually highly recommend people to actually get this tool okay so the hour hand is in now just do a quick test on the hour hand it's perfect now it's the minute hand just like what we did with our hand pointing everything to 12 o'clock and installing using the hand pusher tool remember to turn the movement while pressing the hand down that way you can ensure a much more even press on the hand again just to test out the minute hand everything looks really good so far and perfect now last but not least installing the second hand this should be a quick job if you have a lot of experience yep and the second hand is in now remove the stem it's time to actually place the movement back into our case Now slowly place the case over the movement, apply a little bit of pressure, flip the case around and your movement is in. Insert your stem, there's no need to cut the stem because I've cut it already. And make sure everything is in stop correctly. Give it a quick puff and it's time to screw down the case. Twist it tight using the ball and your watch is done install back the bracelet and the watch fix is now completed so that's all for this NH34 quick deck wheel change fix video I hope this helped you all and feel free to refer to a lot of resources um, down in the video description below and feel free to ask questions in the comment section. I'm happy to help and reply as many as possible. I hope this video helps and I hope this video saves your NH34 movement. So happy modding. Cheers. See you in the next one.